Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take one of my gold files, like the pig files that come when you purchase a Photoshop file, and I say, I also have the pings and JPEGs, in case you don't use Photoshop, and show you how to turn that into a black and white or you know a stainless steel color, basically. So, um, because I only provide the gold files as pings, because it's easy to colorize them in silhouette, but the thing is that the shader effects tool that you use to colorize, it doesn't let you turn them to stainless steel color. So I already have made a video about how to do the colorizing, so let me show you how to do the stainless steel color. So what you wanna do is grab your image, make sure it's selected, go over to your tools panel. This has changed since I recorded the last video. You're gonna grab this half circle and that brings up your image effects. And um, we are, the first available tool inside of there is the gray shade tool. That's the tool we want. If we wanted to colorize it, we would click on this little palette and we could drag around and change the hue. But we don't want that, we wanna make it grayscale. We wanna make it look like it's the original stainless steel color. So go to the gray shade. What you wanna do is just drag that all the way to the right. Um, since this is one of the files that has a little bit of a rim on it, that looks shinier than the rest when you do this. So um, don't grab that one if you want it to be um, all one silvery shade. You're going to want to grab the one that doesn't have the little trim piece on there. And that is available in the file. But one tricky thing that happens when you've done this is it created a border around the whole thing. So we want to get rid of the border. So we click on this again. We're going to go over to our lines and our color, and we're just going to say transparent, and that gets rid of your line, and voila! Now you can add your design right on top. So I could probably show you, um, this is not the right folder, but if I go to my products here, and I'll grab one that doesn't have that um, shade on it. So if we go to our 30 ounce stainless steel hog. We go into the handoff file, which you get when you purchase. We grab the pings folder and we just look inside here. We'll find one that doesn't have the rim on it. Let's see, where can we get one? I think it's this one. Nope, oh, that has it on the bottom. I know there's one in here. Okay, there's this first one. That might be it. It might just be the first one that's in there. Yeah, so that's the one we wanted. 30 ounce hog tumbler one. Show that in my finder. Let's get that up. Okay, so if we were to grab that one, we'll drag this one away, pull this one in, go over to our image effects, grayscale, drag it all the way over, hit apply, and then select it again and turn off the line color and you will be good to go to lay your cut file design on top. So I hope that is clear and you can see how handy these files are even if you don't have Photoshop available.